Saturday, you know, um, he's training real hard, staying in there, staying focused. How long have you been fighting on that? I've been fighting since 1997, from the amateurs to pro. Yeah, so you've been in this for a minute, then, huh? Yeah, I've been here for a long time. So, so what made you want to like start boxing? Like, what made you want to pursue this? Well, I had a, a lot of other old, older brothers that um, I just wanted to be like them. You know, they, they were boxing. Mm -hmm. They came from the streets into boxing, amateur boxing, and um, they hell, they were from the streets just boxing. You know, and they just decided to go to amateurs. So you know, why not? Like, just felt like fuck yeah, it. They doing it. I'm gonna do it. They're doing it. I'm gonna do it. I see them training, and I just want to be just like them. I want to be kicking butt in there too, man. <laughs> what uh, what you think the outcome of the fight gonna be? Um, well, it's gonna be a tough fight. It's not gonna be easy. I just um, I'm staying real focused on what I'm gonna do. I want to be real uh, aggressive in there, real strong, come out strong, and I want to come out a winner. You know, it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna do it. You know, I got what it takes. Already. All right, everybody. Hey, tell us your name, my man. I'm John Bear Jr. Tell us your record. Uh, record's one and over one KO. Uh, what is spot you? 150 pounds. 150 pounds. Yeah. Already. What's inspired you to start fight? Uh, when I was little, I just kind of fell into it, and uh, a lot of me and my uh, friends I grew up with, and I just stuck to it. I so just, when you were little, you were just knocking, knocking them out, huh? Wow. wow. Uh, I just, I'm not there. I didn't really take it as serious. So I thought, you know, it was just a sport at first, and then I, I got a little older, started taking it more serious. And now that I got pro, and you know, I feel like I gotta take it even more serious. All but right. What you think the outcome of the fight gonna be this week? This week, I mean, I'm looking for another knockout. I wanna come knockouts. Make you an said impression. not decisions, but knockout. Make an impression. And tell us, <laughs> and tell us a little something about the guy you're fighting against. Tell us a little something about him. Uh, I really don't know much about. Him. I just know his name is Gibaldo Torres. Uh huh. Hey, he's from El Paso. That's Pretty much all I know. Okay, all right. Yeah. He's left-handed, also. Uh, That's really? what I was with Spence. Uh, really? Uh, really? I appreciate you, man. Right, no problem. Appreciate you, man. Good, Good luck on your fight. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me your name. My name is Manuel Rojas. I'm from Dallas, Texas. All righty. So, uh, what, what, what made you want to get into boxing? Um, when my older brother, he was around 16, he started boxing. He would just come home, talk about, uh, how the gym was, it made me want to join when I was nine. Yeah, I seen you in the spawn, oh boy, you got some hands on you. <laughs> yeah, I've been boxing for 10 years. All right, that's what's up, man. What's so, what's your record? Uh, I'm 5 and 0 right now. So, you one knockout. 5 and 0, got them hands. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you, you got a fight coming up. What you think the, the outcome's going to be? Um, well, I had one knockout. My last fight, my first four went to decision, so I'm looking for knockouts more than ever now. Alright, so uh, what, uh, what's, your, what's your fighter record what looking like? Fighter record? Uh, I think he's 9 and 10. He's an old experienced fighter. Better. Alright, alright. Right. You got a question, Jeff? Tell us your name. 
Uh, my name is Samuel, the main event Clarkson. Already. Samuel, the main event Clarkson. Already. Tell me. Uh, what's your record? Oh, uh, my professional record is 3 0, 3 knockouts. I have in the first round. <laughs> Already. I get it in. Already. How long have you been fighting, man? Uh, since. I've been fighting for about four years. Yeah. Yeah, for about four years. And uh, what inspired you, man, to start man. fighting, man? To stay out of trouble, man. I, I don't like being in trouble, you know what I'm saying? I want to be a positive role model for the kids that grew up and never really had much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, them growing up like that, they can see me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing something, they think they can do the same thing so they can get on the same train. You know what I'm saying? Some money thing. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. You got anything you want to say to anybody that want to be a boxer? Man, anybody that wants to be a boxer, man, leave females alone for a little bit. Just a little bit. Just focus and pay attention. Yeah. Listen to your coach. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have discipline. And if you want it, you gotta work hard. Cause don't look on easy, you know what I'm saying? So if you want it, you gotta work for it and go get it, you know what I'm saying? Cause ain't nobody gonna hand it to you. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright. Man, I'm from I'm from Dallas by Stan City here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty lame out there, but that's what I'm getting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, already, man. Already, man. Hey, you boys be on the lookout for this guy right here, man. It goes down. Look out for that knockout. Yeah, man. And that nigga done fucked off. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. To the Olympics, brother. Is that right? Yeah, going to Olympics. Uh, one two eight, one fifty two. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That is what's up, brother. Uh, everybody from Dallas, Fort Worth, everybody in Texas, the country, look out for me. I'm breaking that gold medal home in August. Already. Hey, hey, and what? One more, one more. What inspired you to start fighting, my man? What, what got you started? Uh, my dad got me into it. Uh, he always been a fan of the sports since he was little, and uh, he got me into it when I was uh, 15. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, you boys better watch out. Guard your face. Guard your face. Guard your face. I'm president of Colorado Promotion. How long did you do boxing? Uh, I fought professional for 12 years. You know, I was a world champion for six years. What weight division? Weight division is always a bantamweight world champion, junior featherweight world champion. How long you been having this gym here? Uh, I've been working. I mean, I've been owning the gym since uh, 04, but I moved in here back in October last year. And I just moved from another gym that was you know, really nice too, but uh, I was there for about five years. How uh, many world champions have you produced? You know, world champions, uh, my promotion is only three years old, so I haven't produced any yet. We're starting them from the ground up, you know, and, uh, at least to get to that point, it's six years to get there, so, uh, but I mean, it, all it takes is time, I mean, it's not like I'm not going to do you know, time, but it's just what we wait for. Uh, in your experience in fighting, uh, how can you help, how can you help the young ones? Oh, easy, easy, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I've been there, I've been there. Everything that could happen or will happen to them, it's a real, I mean, I've lived through know, the money issues, to, to training, to the fighters, to, to people coming to quit, telling you stuff in your ears that they can do a better job, you know, to, to, to fighters, you know, talking about it, to, I mean, to family problems, to, I mean, you name it, I've, I've lived with it. broken hand, concussion, broken cheekbone, and still winning, winning the fight. It just, it's just how bad you want it. You know? I, 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 I've been there, you know? so uh, I, mean, I, I, get, I get to share personal experiences and you know, how I've overcame it. What's the name of the promotion company? It's Paul Ayala Productions. Yeah. The name of the gym is University of Art. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.
Arthur Trevino, the Blood and Glitz Warrior of Fort Worth. I'm uh, 28 years old. Uh, I trained hard for this fight, but this is the first time I actually had to work and train, so I feel, uh, feel myself using that inner strength, you know, that heart, using those wibbles I got. <laughs> and uh, I don't predict a knockout, I predict a, a punishing fight. I'm a punishing guy to quit. I want him to quit. I don't want to knock him out. I want him to feel the pain and hurt. It's John Barry Jr. Uh, and how I prepared for this fight is, you know, a lot of strength training and everything and preparing for a left-hander. I'm also a southpaw anyway. And uh, I'm ready to, you know, get on, try to get a knockout going with nothing. My name is uh, Miguel Buendia, fighting a super featherweight. Uh, training camp for this fight, we, uh, we trade uh, hard work and dedication. Uh, we're going to come out, uh, it's, up to, it's up to God if we come out victorious this fight. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. We put on a good show for the fans. I'm Manny Rojas, I'm 19 years old. Five and I'm from Dallas, Texas. For this fight, I'm prepared by doing a lot of cardio because it's my first six rounder. So I'm just gonna take it to this dude and try to get my second knockout. My name is Sam Middleman, Ben Clark, fighting that super middleweight 165. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be really aggressive with this dude. I already think he can hug him. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be aggressive. If he's fast, I'm faster. If he's strong, I'm stronger. So. If he ain't ready, then it's, it's, it's game time. He smashed now. That's what it is. All right, man. I'm Brian Vera. I'm from Austin, Texas. Uh, Grizzly, Fort Worth. Uh, we train hard, man. We, I did five weeks in Houston to get ready for this guy. I'm going to come out ready. Just like an ass, I'll be ready. Hey, everybody. You know what it is, man. I'm going to send you know what We in the park, we in the, uh, yeah, man, we at the forward place, man. You know what I said? They doing the weigh-in, man, for these boxes, man, the, uh, the bikes. Uh, the bikes run down Saturday. We gonna be up in this thing, man. Hey, we got some good-looking fighters, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, long, man. Long as they keep the clothes on, man. Yeah, man. One of those pulled some pieces out. Yeah, man. 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 Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, don't forget to register for that Ford truck, that F-150 out there, that brand new one that you see, representing the Polly Ayala Productions. You saw the logo on it. If you want to win that truck and you want to take it home with you, make sure to get you some tickets right there at the front, okay? Get some tickets and drive that home hoy esta noche, courtesy of Southwest Ford. The official sponsor of the Pali Ayala Productions, Tejano Throwdown, gloves and guitars.
Let's get a round of applause for the fighters in the ring. Oh, my friend. Catch him again. Let's go! 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 Let's go
There you go. Let's go, Brian. There you go, Brian. There you go, Brian. Let's go, Brian. profiler we was in the building man Fort Worth Convention Center for the poly school the University of Hard Knocks you know what I'm saying we got to watch the fights you're gonna see the footage part of profile TV I'm representing for Rio and B you know what I'm saying I am Tommy G I got big weed behind the camera yeah you know what I'm saying so we just got it in man part of profile of sports today you know we we watch uh, seven fights uh, all the boys came out victorious uh, just watch the footage, the train, the interviews, the whole nine, man. We getting it in. Party Profile TV, PartyProfile.com. Check us out. Hey.